Hello out there, Metrology World, and welcome to the next episode of the MetLogic's Tips and Techniques video series. We're going to be publishing a couple of these new videos each month highlighting the least well-known and hopefully most useful features of the MX series software. Most of these videos are going to cover topics in the M3 software, but on occasion we'll cover topics in our other products as well. Please feel free to subscribe to this series using the link found in the notes section below the video. You'll be notified by email when new videos become available. So let's jump right in. In this next episode, we are going to be covering the print preview function by way of Windows default printer. So what I'm referring to here is that in the M3 software, we do not have a dedicated print preview module for viewing the setup of our report printouts, but have a recommendation whereby you can make use of the Windows print device to create a quick on-screen view of what your report's going to look like before committing it to a paper printer. So in order to do this, we need to go ahead and access the printers and devices section in our Windows setup area. This is going to vary by operating system, but by and large, if you use Windows control panel, you can access the printer device section where you can specify a print device as the default printer to be used in Windows. Additionally, we can choose a default printer in the M3 printout settings screen. This will be the print device that all print executions in the M3 software use when sending a report, part view, or live video print through the print function. So let's go ahead and produce some measurements in our system. Access the report view and go ahead and execute a printout. What you can see is the M3 software will commit the printout content to a PDF or XPS file output where the report can be viewed before committing it to a paper printer. This can be especially helpful when you're trying to customize a report for your customer and you want to ensure that the data columns, rows, and formatting that you've chosen fit nicely on the paper that you're printing to. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, subscribe to this video if you'd like to be notified of all future releases of the MX Tips and Techniques video series. Thanks a bunch.